The six staple crops under threat due to low yields are rice, maize, tomatoes, soya beans, cowpea, and cassava. At a high-level emergency consultative meeting organized by the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement under the University of Ghana, principal research scientist at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Crops Research Institute, Dr. Maxwell Asante said, Ghana is producing only 50% of local rice despite the huge potential to be self-sufficient. We have the potential to be self-sufficient in rice production. But currently, we are, we are producing just about 50%, just under 50%. And we have the potential, we have the land, we have the variety, we have the personnel, everything to, 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 to be able to do it. So the advocacy is that we have to put in the needed investment um, to be able to do it. So when I say the needed investment, what I mean is that it starts from the variety, the development of the variety. Currently, we have good varieties, but a good variety today will not be good in the next 10 years. On his part, crop scientist and senior lecturer at the University of Ghana, Dr. Ajiman Zankwa, revealed that farmers cannot produce the required 1 million tons of tomatoes for consumption, a reason they import from other countries. So we are aware that the national demand is about a million uh, metric tons and then we do just about half uh, in terms of production uh, here. So there's uh, about half more that needs to be imported in. There are about 500,000 metric tons that have to be imported in uh, as either the uh, f uh, paste, the tomato paste or other uh, tomato uh, uh, paste products or as uh, fresh, uh, fresh fruits from Burkina Faso. So uh, really there, there is a huge gap, uh, um, about half of what is produced here is needed to complement the national demand. The government introduced a planting for food and jobs policy in 2017 to help farmers boost food production. But Dr. Beatrice Effie of the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement said there is still a wide gap to close in maize production. We are not meeting target for PFG, so there is a need to increase production to meet our targets. Uh, and we know drought and uh, the other um, challenges uh, accompanying production as well, bringing about some shortfall, particularly in 2020. And we have not met targets. There's progress, but we are not there yet. Meanwhile, Director at the West Africa Center for Crop Improvement, Professor Eric Dankwa, warns the Ukraine war is a major threat to food security. What we are doing now is to ensure that we create the awareness which ensures that partners understand that we have the innovations around that if we scaled up would meet expectations in farmers' fields. And so the time is now urgent because of the complicating factors. Of course, the Ukraine-Russia war is a signal, of course, but there have been so many other signals like climate change, an important signal, COVID-19, and no one knows tomorrow. That is why we are moving forward in the context of Ghana looking within to meet expectations. The West Africa Center for Crop Improvement is expected to produce a report detailing the way forward in improving food security in Ghana through investment in genetic innovation and use of hybrid crop varieties. Samuel Mbura's report for Joy News, Accra.